USC's undergraduate and graduate student governments are demanding school officials implement stronger diversity policies. The organizations introduced a diversity resolution at its meeting Monday night, and USG President Rennie Sampath said they want USC to take its commitment to diversity seriously. One thing we're asking universities to do is act proactively instead of reactively. A lot of things that we have in place, like our bias and discrimination reporting mechanism, is reactive. It's asking students to report on these things after something's happened to them. Student leaders say the battle for diversity and inclusion isn't new to USC, and there are many on-campus groups that feel marginalized with no resolve. I think that this is really the first time that we've all come together and we've seen that admins treating us the same way, as in, there is an incident, students express dissatisfaction with admin, and then we go to admin, and then typically there's very little response. If so, it's something that doesn't really make a big difference. USC school officials were now available for comment, but the Vice President of Student Affairs, Dr. Ainsley Carey, told the Los Angeles Times there is a disconnect between students and administrators on how the school is combating bias and that actions have been taken to improve the conditions. But students feel that there is still a need for greater diversity on campus, including amongst faculty. Yeah, it's important to have a diverse faculty for a variety of reasons. One, you have diverse perspectives come from people from diverse experiences. And students want to be exposed to many diverse perspectives in the classroom so that they can take those to the world of work. Sam Path believes the university needs to look into the structures that allow racial bias to take place. We don't have a very strong diversity requirement. We don't have classes that really reflect the diversity of our campus. We don't have diverse faculty members. Uh, again, going back to this idea of you know our, our actual administration, we don't have a vice president of diversity and equity. Whereas public universities like UCLA, they have a vice chancellor devoted to these things who can work on issues of diversity and equity every single day. Student leaders hope by 2025, USC student and faculty population will reflect national demographics. LaMarco McClendon, ATVN.